So we're going to revisit our blog project one last time and make use of all the features that we've learned about within the Express.js framework, such as our views routing and connection to MongoDB alongside an authentication system using Passport. So this hopefully should just be a revision of all the Express.js features rolled into a practical application. So in this lesson, we'll set up the project and connect it to the database. So let's create a new project using the Express Generator. And alongside the Express.js dependencies, we'll install Passport, the Passport local strategy, the Connect Flash module, and also the MongoDB and Session packages. So inside of our new projects app.js file, let's import all of the dependencies that we're going to be using in our blog project. And with those imported, let's actually create our setup connection to our MongoDB database. And once our connection is established, if there wasn't an error, we're going to grab a reference to the database, which is called blogdb, and from that database, get a reference to the posts and users collections, and save that in the app.locals of our Express.js application, so it can be accessed and shared throughout the various routes that we're going to be setting up. And all that connection information can be seen and set up inside of Compass. You can see that we're running on localhost with a port number of 27017, and I have a database called blogdb, which has two collections inside posts and users. So with our database connection set up, let's configure the rest of our Express.js application to use the packages we've set up as dependencies. And the first thing I'm going to tell Express to use is the Flash library, which will handle all of our Flash messages for us. And then I'm going to tell Express to use the Express Session package, And we provide some configuration details for that inside of the function call. And then finally, we initialize Passport within Express.js to handle our authentication system. And whilst we're here, I'll also tell Passport to use the local strategy module that we imported. And I'll provide instructions to Passport to inform it how to validate and log in users. And I'll just paste this code in from the Passport authentication lesson and you can see we're telling Passport to use the local strategy and then there's information about how the user login should be handled along with serializing and deserializing the user information from the session. And if you want to refresh yourself on the details of this local strategy implementation, you can go back to the Passport authentication lesson where we go through it in depth. So that completes our app setup and configuration. In the next lesson, we'll configure the routes for creating new users logging in and creating new blog posts, as well as the public routes for actually displaying a list of blog posts that have been published to the database.